I was a collector before I started the, the business. Bill Ranford Sr. started collecting cards while in the military overseas. He opened his Red Deer sports card store some 18 years ago, seeing plenty of peaks and valleys, with the last lockout in the NHL in 2005 causing some financial damage. I had to lend my store some money to, to be able to keep going, and it took me until a year ago to pay it back. The recent lockout has brought in another cloud of uncertainty, and it's already claimed a few victims within the industry. Just talking to my suppliers and stuff, and there's been stores that are closed, and uh, as long as uh, I have some regular guys in town that uh, come and stick with me, and they've been just super, and uh, if I can pay my rent and pay my bills, I'll, uh, I'll stay open. Hockey has been a part of his life for more than 40 years with his son playing in the NHL and now grandsons playing the game as well. Ranford says there is a different feeling with this lockout compared to the one in 05. In 2005, we were just waiting for it to get over so we could watch hockey again. But now there's some real unhappiness. There's unhappiness with guys that, that I've known for years that are big hockey fans that are saying, I don't know, man, I, I've had enough. This is crap. Well, Bill Jr. is now coaching in Los Angeles, and Ranford says his view of this is the same as the fans. Just get this solved. He wants them on the ice as, as much as, as any, any person, any fan I know of, and uh, not happening, and he's not pleased either. Even if a deal is reached, Ranford figures hockey fans in general, and Canadians in particular, might not be very forgiving this time around. I think this time, I, and I hope I'm wrong, but I think this time the Canadians aren't going to come back as strong as they did in 05 because they're really fed up. Some with the players, some with the owners, some with both. His business is heavily reliant on the game of hockey, making up about 98% of sales, which have dropped by about 70% in his estimation. Without the players playing, without the new cards, without the rookies, people just aren't interested, and, and uh, that's tough on the business. He's also worried about the people who work in the arenas and how this impacts them. But as for his situation, he says it's just a hobby, and whatever happens, happens. I'm enjoying it tremendously, but I want hockey. I don't care about this as much as I do as I want them back on the ice. For Go Central, I'm Jim Claggett.